to focus on things other than school. School wasn't at the forefront of my life. But a side effect of this is that I cared about school less. Instead of studying for tests, I just played. Grades mattered less. I could get a good grade whether or not I tried. I could just do and redo and redo. That wasn't the fault of online school, but rather the program I and millions of other kids used. The coding wasn't the best. We could cheat on tests and no one would know. I didn't, but many other students did. It was glitchy. Sometimes we could see the answers. And the program gave us grace for making mistakes instead of actually making the program good from the beginning. This is what I feel, but some feel like it's been years since COVID happened, and some feel like it's happening in their current moment. I feel like this is a controversial topic, and at the same time, we can still talk about these topics since they might not get the love or attention that they deserve. It feels like COVID's changed everything. It changed work, school, money itself, 4-H, and so much more. Anything that I interact with feels like it's been affected. I, or almost anyone around me, hasn't seen any disease or illness affect the world like COVID-19 has. So let's analyze the ways that COVID-19 has affected our lives. An example of COVID changing our lives is the Little Pantry of Nashville. The pantry had been opened for 12 years with open arms, but COVID hit and it hit like a truck. It wasn't just the pantry that shut down, but the people's spirits with it. They were looking for a home before COVID. They had gotten places that they could have afforded, but the building market was fluctuating high and low. It was a lost cause, and for that reason, the pantry shut down. I had gotten outreach from this topic from a person that I know, Amy. This new story is about her sister. Her sister was a teacher before COVID. She thought that the job was just a bit too difficult for the amount of pay that she was getting. She worked day and night for her students since they were the only things keeping her in the school. The school also had some difficulties, so they tried to keep her in it. The school in question had to implement four day work weeks since they had scarce staff, which affected the children too, since they had fewer hours to work on school. Soon after, she realized it wasn't worth it to be a teacher, and she left and pursued a new career at Costco. This was a migration for teachers, to go from teaching jobs to jobs in other areas, since even entry-level jobs could compete with how much pay that they got from schools. And the last example of how COVID has changed not mine or pretty much anyone else's, but just everyone in the surrounding area, is the organization of 4-H. I felt like I've touched the branches of the tree of 4-H with clubs, volunteering, honor clubs, and fairs, and so much more. Because of this, I have seen everything in 4-H, and most things have changed in the last year. There were masks for almost the entirety of last year. And online classes were offered for more flexibility, for cheaper expenses, and just to make it easier for everyone to actually be part of those classes. I've experienced all of this, but the thing that I feel that has changed the most is the community of 4-H. In the last two years, I have felt like the community has grown more together rather than apart from recovering from COVID. Everyone's happier to see each other, and many people have been more social and have been molded by the events for the better. I have seen this at internships, clubs, speeches, and the fair as well. All of this shows that COVID has changed everything, from work to school,
to even the concept of money and 4-H. I urge you to take this lesson into the world and question the things around you. Thank you, and I urge you a little rant.